What's cracking, guys? Omar Isaf here, back with another video here at uh, Untamed Line. Uh, Fitness. Fitness. Untamed my heart. So, uh, Say you love me again. It's got a good echo. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, Planet Fitness was closed, so we decided to come here. Really? We're going to do a QA. It's been a while since we've been reunited, I think. And someone said that actually to me in a DM that uh, the first time I think the three of us got together was 2016. Yeah, I believe it. The, second, the blue yeah. location. Oh, yeah, it's a great location. We're all just young whippersnappers. Now, Alan has a kid. Mike has a same career. <laughs> okay, what do you want? Two kids. Still useless. Two kids. Jeez. 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 Still useless. Um, so we thought we'd do a Q&A where we answer your questions we post on Instagram. Uh, I'll dive right into it. Best assistance exercise for the low bar squat. Are we going to play the same game? Yeah, no, the answer is always going to like, for me, the answer is always going to be the same for best assistance. I think that if you're trying to get better at squatting, Squatting and its variations are going to be best. Closest and, variation to furthest and, variation. And also, like, you know, if we're if we're going to say that no, I can't say anything squat related. Uh, why the why the, what's specific about the low bar squat? You know, like yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The low bar squat's pretty specific, and to get better at that, you have to do it. Yeah. yeah. Uh, a better question might be, other than squats, what would be a good way to strengthen my legs? Yeah. But to say what's you know what I mean like true. What's the best way to get a, a shoulder width stance? Low bar squat, you know. Like the other thing, uh, term I hate specific. as we're bashing terms and questions uh, is carryover. Yeah. Uh, like you made the example for bench, I think. Like, oh, I've been close grip benching a lot. And my bench carried over. Close yeah. grip bench carries over really yeah. good for me. Oh, fucking does it, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Carry over. So, Nothing carries over. Like, uh, you, you get better at the bench. You get better at the bench. Maybe you got better at the close grip bench, and then over time you got a little bit stronger, and over time your regular bench went up. Like, yeah, that's awesome. To Nothing get, carries to give an over. Answer, uh, <laughs> The best accessory movement for uh, low bar squat is what it was. Yep. yep. Um, no squat in the term. No squat. No, no, you, no, you could give a. Uh, oh, well, then, yeah, yeah you go pause, squat, squat well, you yeah. squat, move the barbell pin around. Squat, tempo, yeah. squat, that's exactly you know, you said. Those exact three, I think someone uh, like watches the content or just knows someone responded and gave those yeah. exact three. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Safety squat, bar pause squat, squat, pit squat. Yeah. But uh, I do would say that. Uh, uh, for some type of some training, if you plan to power lift for 10 years, some type of unilateral leg training uh, can help you uh, in the long run not bust your shit up. Yeah, no. <laughs> now here's here, here's the question: Is powerlifting is powerlifting a good, albeit convenient excuse to get fat and never do car uh, cardio? Asking for a friend. <laughs> You can make whatever excuse you for your life you want. Fuck yeah. you yeah. want to do. Oh, yeah. there, oh yeah. way back, yeah. 2013 style, bro. <laughs> yeah, whatever, whatever it, you excuse you want in your life to be a bum, go ahead and use it. We're not here to judge your morals. Someone just said, Alon, the Iron Goddess, official rap album cover. <laughs> They didn't get the vibe of your photo. I know. They, that, you guys missed the oh, mark on that one. I even I went bandana for you. I tried to fit in with your guys' world. Now, here's the important one. What's Alan's hair care regime? Uh, just don't wash it. You heard it here first. <laughs> Natural oils. I, I, uh, yeah, I don't. I, I wash my hair like I don't know, once or twice a week, yeah. honestly. Uh, and I just use whatever Kaylin has in the shower, which is usually like herbal essence, shampoo, and conditioner. I think that's the, I think that's the real advice. I, when I when I wash my hair, it gets so so uh, thin and fluffy that yeah. it won't even stay in a ponytail. It's just like floating all over. The I place. totally know what you mean. Yeah. So I need a little bit of a little bit of grease, a little bit of untamed strength, sweat holds it down. Yeah. I did a video uh, three years ago with a, a male male specimen, uh, <laughs> Kenny Santucci, uh, and I asked him about real hair care because uh, that guy I'm sure has done his research, and he said he yeah, he said wash probably every two to three days. Is. No, I'll put it on. Do you know who he is? No. Oh, I'll show you later, and you'll be like, "All right, I'll take your advice." <laughs> like I believe it. He said. He said, "Wash every two to three days." Nice. I like so? it. Someone said, "Wow, I have not seen so much bad hair since high school in 1984." <laughs> How does that make you feel? Because you haven't left your house since 1984. Get a life, kid. Um, uh, high school, 1984. This ain't no kid. Get, get a life, <laughs> old man. You could be, be our. Yeah, get a life, old man. Yeah. Bad hair. Send us a picture of your haircut, tough guy. <laughs> now, see, this is uh, just focusing on details that aren't even important. No offense to this guy. He said, I find using chalk helps on my pressing movement, and chalk is more for pulling help. No, not, use chalk how you like or don't correctly. like. No, he's, I find, yeah, he wrote yeah. it incorrectly. He said, I find using chalk, chalk helps me on my pressing movement, and chalk is more for pulling help. 
Mo uh, most just most yeah, people so have no use of press. For, what's yeah, going yeah. for yeah. anything when your hands in tension, yeah. on the press, it's in compression. So why? Yeah. Um, Use it how you want, buddy. Yeah. We I mean, won't judge you. So he's asking why that is. <laughs> Theoretically, it has no use in presses. What's going on here? No, nah, nothing's going I'm on. Like what? It's like Pavlov's dog theory. You put chalk <laughs> on, and you just know it's yeah. time to go. That's, oh yeah, that's what's yeah. Happening. For me, yeah. You someone, start salivating. So, so someone, someone asked Alan. Uh, actually, uh, it was in the YouTube comment. Why do you guys chalk up four squats? And for me, once again, it's oh, just yeah. it's just getting into that pattern where I know it's kind of game time once I chalk up. Yeah. Mine's much more embarrassing than that. A little bit of a sweaty hands. I have very clammy hands. That's fine. I'm oh my you god! So hard right now. And so, um, actually, they're really dry right now because we're outside. But I really claim it. I've shaken people's hands and uh, first meet, and most people are pretty nice when you first <laughs> meet them, and they've said, "Wow, you have clammy hands." Hyper hydro. Hyper hydrosis. Is like that a disease? A... Is that when you sweat too much? I watched that on MTV once. Uh, Help me, true life, I sweat too much. You're asking a married man this question, what porn sites do you recommend? Yeah, that's the best guy to ask. No, we need, <laughs> no, 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 we need, we need Connor. I don't watch, I don't watch porn. Yeah, there you go. Wow, wow. T we're gonna, you're Kid gonna number two coming soon, it sounds like. I actually, uh, yeah. I don't have time. Yeah, there you go, that's the answer. That's the answer right there. We should bring Connor in where, yeah. Porn's the devil, Bobby. No, he said, he said, uh, we we're talking about something yesterday. And uh, we're describing how we all have deep, dark thoughts and whatever, like it's subconscious that we don't want we're to say aloud. We're talking 1,000% philosophical, the demons within us. Yes. And he's like, are you talking about my me type? <laughs> yeah, me <laughs> type. Like, what type of porn are you watching, buddy? Like, yeah, Connor, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> uh, hey, uh, favorite songs, bands to train to? Recently? Uh, yeah. My vibe's been a little di different. Uh, I don't get all fired don't up. Don't steal my I, fucking answer, bro. What, what, what's your vibe? No, uh, the same I, I, so I doubt Alan, we listen to the same music. I've, no, I was gonna say that uh, myself, like Alan, I listen to a lot of uh, metal in uh, my youth. Like, when you put on your tunes, pretty much every song, like this, this song, like from here. Uh, when I train now, though, I actually, instead of being in an excited state, I actually sometimes listen to a lot of jazz or some funk, just something that gets me in an even state. So I you stole that from me. I've done that for 10 years. Yeah. I, 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 I mean, look where it's got you. I, weak. I burnt myself out a long time ago mentally. I get fucking fired up all the time. Uh, West Side till you die. And uh, West Side. so when you're max efforting all the time and snorting ammonia until your eyes bleed, you get a little burnt. So I try to enjoy my training a little bit more. And so I listen to music I enjoy. Uh, like artists like Wizkid, Malik Berry, Dabido, Burna Boy. Put that in your pipe and smoke it. We'll play some in there, Alan. We'll get your culture. You'll like it. Go I always got dance like, moves. I like a lot of a lot of different stuff. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, but when I lift, it's typically uh, you know typical thrash uh, stuff. But sometimes I like uh, heavier, harder stuff. Um, Death, and Sepultura, and stuff like that. Yeah, the thrash is a great choice. I find for me uh, the the limit. Not I don't want to say the limit of heaviness when it comes to metal, but uh, like Pantera is uh, probably yeah. as heavy as I like it. And, um, <laughs> <laughs> what are the differences and benefits of the pin bench press versus the pause bench press? I'll tell you, oh. this is for any pin, uh, well, pin squat or pause bench. When you set the weight down on the pins, there's no room for correction. So if you set it down in the wrong spot, you're stuck there. If you squat down a little forward, you sit there uh, forward, and then you have to get the, pin, the weight off the pins a little forward on your True. toes. Uh, whereas a pause squat or a pause bench, you can let it settle kind of find your balance and then go from there. Yep. It's especially true for squats, and you'll find that it is uh, really hard to get, to nail that spot every time, whereas a pod squat, you don't really feel it. Adjusting heights oh, yeah. is another good option of those uh, that you can do on pins, and you can do paused. What uh, was it? Uh, I don't, I just like, Pin press versus pause. I just pause, like think press. of these questions however I want to make them and then answer. Yeah. Pin, but pin, it was pin what press versus like a pause. What are the differences? Uh, so yeah, in it's it's Different easier. Heights. Yeah, it's easier to adjust range of motion. You can pause at any height if you want, like a spoto bench or like a three quarter pause on squat. Yeah. Um, but it's much more matter of fact. You're going to hit that uh, range of motion exactly every time, obviously. I would say that uh, for elevated pin work, you can use that more of an. You can use that as an overload. You can't. You can't so, like really pause. Much more difficult. Two second pause halfway down. Uh, probably less weight than you could just touch and go. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but you could pin bench halfway down, probably more than yeah, you could 100, touch and go, 110% right? potentially. So, yeah. Well, guys, that is the video. Thank you so much for watching. The She's now mine, bro. Jeez. I'm sorry. If you liked the video, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to like the damn video. Also, subscribe to both of these channels Untame My Heart, Untame Strength, as well as Silencio Miguel, YouTube in the description. We're back every single damn day. And we'll see all you guys my pokas in the next video. Peace.